Hi everyone, this is Sari from Ocean Dreams Reiki at OceanDreamsReiki.com and what I'm going to do today is take a few minutes to show you how to make gem elixirs. Now gem elixirs are made from water that are infused with crystalline energy. So what we do is we get our filtered or distilled water and it's best to put it into a glass, um, a glass cup, bottle, um, tea infuser, anything that's glass, that works best. And then you'll have a little strainer usually. Some of the tea infusers come with it already. Um, I'm going to be using Mr. Manatee and some crystals that I've chose. Now you could just drop a whole rose quartz crystal in there if you want, but what I wanted to do was use some of the crystal trip um, chips and put it in Mr. Manatee and diffuse it that way or infuse it. So what I have in here is citrine for abundance and joy and happiness, rose quartz for self-love and healing, and blue lace agate for communication and peace. So I'm going to fill up Mr. Manatee and then I will show you how to infuse it in the water. Okay, so here we are, and Mr. Manatee, if you could hear it, there we go, has all our favorite little crystals in there. And he is going to sit in there nicely. We could probably even float them, and they'll be fine. He's made out of a safe silicone plastic. And he is going to... Um, swim around in there with our crystals for about 12 hours and then what we can do is take the crystals out and drink the water and so it'll infuse the water with the healing energy of the crystals and hopefully make me feel better tomorrow now um, one thing you can do if it's sunny outside you might want to put this on your um, windowsill and let some of the beautiful sunlight energies also help infuse the water. Um, another thing is, the most important thing, is when you're choosing crystals to make the gem elixir, make sure you find a list about crystals that are toxic because you don't want to infuse um, your water with poisonous um, crystals. Certain crystals like um, Amazonite have copper in it, and copper is not something good for you to drink. So, if you go to the Love and Light Healing School, um, Ashley has a list on there, and so does Jen over at Crystal Guidance, and I believe Hibiscus Moon has one as well, and um, you can find the Toxic Crystal list. So, all these are safe. Now, if you wanted to infuse your water with Amazonite, what you would do is, instead of putting the crystals directly in the water, if you got something like your Brita pitcher, you could put the crystals, um, take out the filter part in there, and maybe grab this and put a cover on it. Or if you could have something where this will be floating above the water, like in a cup like that, you could put the crystals directly in there and then put it inside. Or you could have like crystal points all facing around your cup with the crystal energy that you want to infuse it with. And basically you use your intention to um, infuse the water with the crystal energy. So this way, it's called the indirect method, and the crystal energy from the Amazonite will go into the water. It just won't make it toxic for you. So that's another great choice. Um, and so you could choose crystals for anything you need. Like Lapidolite is a nice one for calming. You don't want to put that in the water so that you could place that around. You could essentially make a crystal grid around your glass of water. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, this is actually the first time I'm going to be making a gem elixir to drink. 
but I've seen tons of videos online and a lot of friends who um, swear by it. So I'm going to be excited and try this out tomorrow and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, have a lovely day and say bye to Mr. Manatee. <laughs> bye.